How's it going, guys? It is September 4th, Labor Day. Hope every, everybody had a great holiday weekend. Hope you guys have a good Labor Day. Um, <clears throat> just thought I'd do a sold video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I want to show you guys a few things I sold on my website, a few things I sold on eBay. Hopefully you can find some bolos in here, things to be on the lookout for. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to Andy, the Parrot Head Picker. We did the Reseller Six Pack Show on his channel last night, and he is about to crack a thousand subscribers. So if you're not already subbed to him, make sure you go over there and sub to him. The guy has a lot of great content. He's always doing uh, sold videos, <clears throat> so there's constantly a lot of bolos that he's showing off. And the guy takes great pictures too. Um, some of the best I've seen, to be honest. I could learn a lot from his his photos. I need to really improve the quality of my photos. But make sure you go sub to him. Let's push him over the edge for a thousand subscribers. I think he's going to do a giveaway once he hits a thousand. So let's go give him that push. All right, let's get into this. A few things I sold here recently on my website. These Pyrex dishes uh, somebody brought me did really well. Uh, the set of four brought. 33 bucks. If you guys aren't looking for old Pyrex, make sure you are, especially the ones that have the logos or different things on the side, the colorful ones. You know, the more unique, the better with this stuff. Some of them can bring huge, huge money. The old Pyrex is highly collectible. This Cabbage Patch doll, I found at a yard sale for like a buck or two. It was just in a bin with a bunch of other like stuffed animals and stuff. It was cool because it had two different things going for it. It was a Cabbage Patch doll, and it was Cincinnati Reds, uh, so that brought some really good money. Next up, we've got these old, like, baking items and, like, cookie cutters and stuff. This is another good thing to look out for, guys. Um, any, like, old cookie cutters, different things, especially, like, vintage Halloween ones or Christmas, things like that, they can bring some good money. This little lot here sold for 19 bucks. This old wooden case I just thought was super cool. Still had like the original <clears throat> paperwork inside, and it was, I'm pretty sure this was a local one too, like it was from Cincinnati. Could have been wrong, but I was really pleased with what those sold for, for 42 bucks. All right, get into some of the eBay stuff I've sold recently. Uh, this was in a video I made, an old uh, Sony Shortwave I had. 90 or best offer. I took a best offer of 75. It was a little bit dirty, but it still worked fine. Um, I had somebody shoot me a lower offer of like 25 or something like that and turned it down because I knew I'd get a better one. And sure enough, I did. So really happy with that one. I paid like $3 for it, I think. This was really cool. I found this on the Route 127 yard sale. Paid three dollars for it because the lady didn't really know what it was and she didn't have a price and she said, "What do you want to give me?" I said, three bucks," and she took it. The thing worked and everything. I put water in it and uh, had it running and it was shooting out fog and steam and all kinds of other stuff. It was pretty nasty inside, so I took it a little bit of time cleaning it out, but it still had some gunk and stuff in there. So I think that might have deterred it a little bit. Because uh, typically these sell for about 150 bucks, but had it up for auction and ended up selling for 92. So I was really pleased with that. This is a perfect example of you know if you run across something you've never seen before, just look it up because you really never know what you're going to find. Uh, this remote um, actually, Andy the Parrothead Picker um, inspired me to sell this remote. I was at a yard sale in Milwaukee when we were doing our family trip and the lady had just some miscellaneous bow stuff not like a whole set and just some, all kinds of boxes of electronics miscellaneous stuff so i just you know made a big pile of mishmash items and ended up getting them for pretty cheap so i had like a buck or two into this and it sold for 30 bucks free ship this captel touchscreen phone i found at the same sale as that sony radio I paid 10 bucks for this. Worked great. It did have a tiny bit of writing. You can't even see it now because I cleaned it out. There's like a little bit of somebody had written a phone number on the actual thing. I just took a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a Q tip and just kind of cleaned that up real nice. Got 60 bucks plus shipping on that one. The Sony Explode Boombox, these things are selling great. And I did not even have the remote with this one. Um, 
<clears throat> but it sounded amazing. They're kind of a pain to ship, but if you get them cheap, I think I paid about 10 bucks for this thing. Uh, they're, they're worth the hassle. Uh, if I had the remote, I maybe could have got another 20 or 30 bucks out of it. This is a great bolo for you guys. If you're not buying radar detectors, especially the Escort brand, Escort Passport, make sure you're picking them up because uh, some of them can sell for big money. Some of them sell for a couple hundred dollars, honestly. This one in particular, I got 75 for it, and I only paid 10 These LL Bean boots... I've had these forever, long, long time, uh, maybe like six months or longer. I got them cheap. I think I paid about seven bucks for them. I knew they would eventually sell just because they're such a good brand. Um, the problem is with clothes and shoes and stuff, you need to find the right person to come along that needs that size. And this one was kind of weird because it was a 12 narrow. So you got to find the guy that has, you know, a pretty good size foot, but it's also a narrow foot. So that... I think that's what hurt these. If they were a 12 wide, I probably would have sold them a lot faster. But did get 35 plus shipping on those. LL Bean's a great brand. I always try to pick up that stuff when I can find it. Uh, the steering wheel, I thought was pretty cool. We'll pick this up at a yard sale for 5 or 6 bucks. It had a box too, which was nice. Not the original box, but a box to help me ship it, which is good. Because stuff like this is just so big and awkward. Got this Seinfeld Monopoly game. I actually took an offer on this. I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks. I found it for a dollar. It was all complete, except it was missing one pewter piece. So it had five of the six of these little pewter pieces. Had like the puffy shirt and, you know, different things from the show. I just thought this thing was really neat. I was tempted to keep it, but I just never get to play board games. But I'm a huge Seinfeld fan. This fishing lore. This is a really funny story, actually. I bought a refrigerator from the Let Go app, and when I was loading in my van, the guy just saw my logo on my van and was like, oh, what do you do? And I was telling him that, you know, I buy and sell, and I got the auction website, and he said, I might have some more things to sell, you know, give me your card. So I gave him my card, and he calls me about a week later, and he says, hey, you know, if you want to stop by, I've got video games and fishing lures and tools and all this stuff. So I go and bought a PlayStation 2, a whole bunch of games, some fishing lures, some tools, and a bunch of other stuff. And I think I ended up paying about $100 for everything. And sold this one lure for 45 bucks plus shipping. So I was really happy with that. This Harley bra, uh, I got at the same sale in Milwaukee that I got the Bose stuff and only paid five bucks for this one. I think I took a best offer on this. I think it was about 50 bucks is what I took for it and uh, plus shipping. These sound machines, uh, I featured these in a video. I bought a whole bunch of these. I think it was like 40 or 50 of these that I bought for three bucks a piece. Sold a handful of them on eBay, sold some locally too and um, Moved them pretty fast. I think mean, you know, it only took me about two weeks to move all these things. And I sold this one for 20 plus shipping. Uh, this is another one of those random Bose pieces that I got at that sale. I uh, didn't have the, the plug for it. Unfortunately, Bose take very unique uh, power cords. It's not just your standard power cord. So didn't really want to invest the money in a power cord in this thing. Um, but took a best offer of about 30 bucks, I think, just because it was kind of busted up. I uh, didn't know if it worked, and I only had a few bucks in it, so I was happy to flip that. Uh, this thing, I, I found at a yard sale. I've actually used these before, and they're really nice. If you have to move a really big piece of furniture that's awkward and you, you don't have a dolly or nothing like that, uh, these shoulder dollies are, are pretty cool. Uh, only paid a couple bucks for it, sold it for 23 plus shipping. These Fender board shorts, uh, the Hurley brand, I got these in a big Amazon haul. Paid like two bucks or three bucks for them. And I think I pretty much sold through all. I think I had like five pair of these. I pretty much sold through them all. Uh, I got 35 with free shipping on those. This PlayStation 3 Rock Band guitar uh, I picked up. It was a big bundle deal at a yard sale. I think I might have had three or four bucks in it. Didn't have a dongle, otherwise I would have gotten some more money for it. But this specific one, uh, the Beatles does pretty well. Pretty much any of that Beatles rock band stuff, I think sells sells pretty well. I got twenty five plus shipping on that one. 
this Apple Mini Display Port. Uh, this is new sealed. Only had to pay five bucks for it and got 45 free ship on that. Uh, the sealed Tomb Raider game was also in that lot of stuff that I got those lures. Got 12 free shipping on that one. <laughs> these guys I've had for a while and I actually sold these via the eBay promoted listing. So I was really happy to get them moved because they're big and bulky and they're taking up a bunch of room. I paid about 60 bucks for these. Uh, I, I paid, you know, I paid up for them because I saw they were selling about 150 or so, and ended up getting 130 uh, plus shipping on these, and they weighed a ton. The box was like 40 pounds. This Magnavox VCR DVD combo. Typically, these things I just don't mess with unless they're a DVD recorder. But Magnavox brand sells really, really well. I didn't have the remote for this or anything. It was just the actual unit itself. I paid $3 for it, I think. Um, and wound up getting 40 plus shipping. Probably could have got like 60 if I had the remote. I have had this Thomas Dean shirt for a long, long time. Um, I, You know, I dabble in clothes here and there. I just don't do a whole lot. I bought this one specifically because I think I saw on the tag that it was like a $125 shirt or something crazy like that. Uh, but Thomas Dean is a good brand. I think it was because it was a small that it took just so long to sell. I, th I picked it up for maybe 50 cents or a buck and uh, got 13 free ship on that one. Uh, this rocket model. This thing was sealed too. Picked this up in Milwaukee for a few bucks and got 40 bucks plus shipping on that one. Alright, last item I'm going to show you. I also sold the eBay promoted listings. I had this for a few months. It took a little while to sell, and I think the promoted listing definitely helped it, you know, get some eyes on it. I had 10 bucks in it, got $28 plus shipping. So, yeah, if you guys are not using the eBay promoted listings thing, I would say definitely, I definitely recommend it. If you've got a store or if you're a top-rated seller, I think it is, that you get a $30 credit. So look and see if you've got that credit. If you've got it, you know, it's a no-brainer to go ahead and at least use it. Because um, it's not costing you anything to use that credit. It might get you a few more sales. That is all I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.